Hyperspectral imaging allows for the acquisition of spectroscopic information at precise locations within a sample. For example, for the unveiling of optical anisotropy at a single crystal level. The generation of both spectral and spatial data of a sample allows for a more detailed investigation of the sample than is possible by either spectroscopy or fluorescence microscopy alone. Large number of adjustable parameters which affect the resolution can seem overwhelming at first. However, making a checklist may help with familiarizing yourself with the system. This technique requires manual tuning of the imaging hardware as well as software manipulation. It is essential to illustrate both aspects visually to showcase how both methods complement each other. Demonstrating the procedure with Nelson Ruder Joga will be Emily Rodriguez, postdoctoral fellow at my laboratory. To set up the imager configuration for hyperspectral imaging mapping, starting from the microscope stage and following the emission beam pathway toward the detectors, leave the position for an optical cube right next to the optical microscope vacant and place the confocal microscope optical cube in that position that directs the emission from the sample through the visible light path. Looking along the optical path toward the detector, Place the visible optical cube containing the dichroic mirror and filters for directing the visible emission to the detection path in its position. Continuing the path toward the detector, place the confocal pinhole optical cube in the right position to direct the light through the visible light detection path, and, following this path, place the confocal spectrometer optical cube in the appropriate position so that the emitted light reaches the detector. When all of the cubes are in place, manually adjust the detector slit opening to match the size of the pinhole selected. Then, in the PySpec software, select the aperture of the pin.